Kicking things off, let's look at the U.S. proof round. Lots of things are happening, lots of excitement. Select, CMEX had great day, so let's take a closer look. Facebook debuts in the number one spot. He actually outperformed his genomic proof by over 78 points, coming in at 23.56 on the GTPI. He has over 172 pounds of fat and protein, so he's a significant production improver. He also is demonstrating that his feet and legs are being a little better than his genomic proof would say. He's coming in 0.39 points higher at 2.09. Though he's only had 39 daughters classified, they are doing as expected. They are tall dairy cows with adequate strength and decent body depth. He will need protection on his pins as both his genomic proof, his sire stack, and his daughter data tells you that he has high pins. He was used as a heavily as a sire of sons, most notably by Enforcer, Jabber, and Dalton. Dorsey increases 51 points to 2318 TPI with the addition of 240 more daughters, moving him ahead of former number one sire, Robust, who also increased 23 points to 2347 with the addition of 81 daughters in his production proof. Also showing significant improvement is Alter Greatest, who moves into the number four spot at 2330, holding off Bookham, who has been in the top for quite a while now, and adding 859 daughters with a TPI of 2319 at the number five spot. The biggest surprise this round by far has to be Alta Fairway, coming in at 2263, 149 points higher than a genomic proof, landing him in the number six spot. With no sons currently in AI and very few daughters even genomically tested, he's certainly a sire people were not expecting. He's a planet son out of Opsil Oman Fantasy 2E93, one of the highest classified Oman daughters and has over 215,000 pounds of lifetime production. With 107 daughters and 49 herds and in his type proof and 302 daughters and 71 herds in his production proof, Alta Fairway's got a decent number of daughters in there that you could expect that he would hold on to these daughter data that is actually 11% higher than his DGVs. He is a high fertility production specialist that were sired, significant mammary system improvement and functional confirmation. He will certainly need protected on his feet and legs, specifically his foot angle and his leg curvature. Making the jump from number 16 to number 7 this round is Merle, with the addition of 24 daughters in his production proof and 86 daughters in his type proof. Merle stands at 2251 TPI. Another relatively unexpected sire this round, besting his 2143 genomic test, is Junior, coming in at 2243 TPI. With 135 daughters in his production proof and 78 daughters in his type proof, his official proof is actually 5% higher than his genomic test. With very few progeny genomically tested, he certainly was not expected, which is kind of surprising given he comes from the co-op breeding program at GenX. At over 2,500 pounds of milk and 114 pounds of fat and protein, he is certainly a production sire that transmits significant utter improvement. Junior will need protected on his feet and legs, specifically his foot angle, and you'll also want to watch him on his angularity and his high pins. Although Macy has remained in the top 10 proven sires for over two years now, he has dropped from the number four spot last round to number nine this round. Rounding out the top 10 is another new release sire from Select Sires Graffiti at 2226 TPI. He is from the well-known Ladies Manor Rudolph Jen family and he comes from three excellent dams with high production. Graffiti is no surprise coming to the top list with many progeny, both daughters and sons, already besting their parent average, Graffiti is delivering. He is an early Freddy son and he is from the same family that produced Shamrock. Unlike Alta Fairway and Junior, who actually bested their genomic tests, Rafidi's extremely high parent average of 2316 back in August of 2011 uh, had him come below, slightly below 2226. He does have 261 daughters in his production proof and 82 daughters in his type proof. Typical Rafidi daughters are extremely strong mammary systems with good feet and legs that can be a touch straight. He will need protected on his overall body depth and stature. Wow, 
What a genomic test for select sires. Nine out of the top ten genomic young sires in the world called 007 home. Let's take a closer look. Leading the list is Dsu Halogen 12342. He's an halogen from a paradise from a bookum. Coming in at number two is plain Noel Rogers Modest One. He's a Rogers from a bookum from a shawl. Though the sire is dead, so there would be very limited semen supply. He is from the Seagull Bay Mano Man Mirror Cow family. Number three on the list is Cookie Cutter Mont 12063. He is a Montrose from a supersonic from the great Cookie Cutter Mano Man Halo, who has been doing such great genomic tests around the world. Number four on the list is from the SSI program at Select Sires is SSI Party Rock Prophet. He's a party rock from a mobile from a robust. Now all those new sires are very young, won't be able to get semen, may even be a little tricky with the way genomic young sires are being released these days. So let's take a look at a few sires that you should be able to get the semen on. Since Super Sire put Seagull Bay on the map, everyone has been watching just to see who would be the next impact sire from this division of the Rudolph Missy family. Now comes Silver, who might even have a greater impact than Super Sire's head. Silver is a mogul from the Snowman sister to Super Sire. Like Super Sire, he has the ability to sire extreme production. Moreover, he will have a significant impact as a sire of sons, because he ranks in the top 1% of the breed from milk, fat, protein, type, and others. He's going to make a difference. If you're looking for a shot of production, then Super Shot will score well with you. The pedigree behind Super Shot may not be well known to most North American breeders as the last five of his generations are from Dutch breeding. The cow family behind that is the great Vogue Claire Holstein's Trisad Patron Claire. He hails from the same line as the famous Coupon Classies and Andershot Claire family that has proven time and time again that they can leave high-ranking females and sons on all different bases around the world. Supershot has extremely high genomic tests and his pedigree indicates that he should sire extreme production. Supershot should be protected on his milking speed as well as his dairy strength. Another exciting new sire is Draco15006 who is an early cash coin son from Miss OCD Robust Delicious, the very good 86 two-year-old who's the former number one TPI cow in the world. Even with an outstanding parent average, Draco exceeds that by almost 10%, something unheard of for sires coming from a high maternal line. Actually, another surprise about this sire is that he actually gets more contribution from his sire than he does from his outstanding dam, something that is proven to be stable and reliable when looking at young sire genomic proofs. Uh, when looking to use Draco, he will sire extreme production and strong type as well as solid health and fertility. He will need protected on his feet and legs, specifically his foot angle and his heel depth, as well as he'll need protecting on his dairy strength and body depth. Delta is the mogul brother to Draco from this great division of the Rudolph Zip family. Delta offers extreme health and fertility traits, solid type, and substantial production. Breeders who are looking for tall, framey two-year-olds do not want to use Delta, but it does offer significant other improvement. Delta is among the breed leaders for productive life. Now let's go north of the border and see what the results are from Canada. While there were no new proven sires in the top 10 Canadian results, there were certainly some shuffling of the results and a lot of sires moving up. Most notably, the new number one and number two sires. Moving up 93 points was Melcrest Alta Razor, the Alta Baxter from a Goldwyn, who now leads the breed for LPI and is the number two rank bull for fat. Since it's the first official proof last August, Alt Regan Crest Alta Iota, a man from an Iota, has been no stranger to the top five LPI. This round, adding over 500 dollars to his production and type proofs, he ranks as the number two LPI sire. The previous LPI leader, Flavo Genetic Snowman, an old man from a Bellwood Marshall, dropped slightly, falling to the number three position. Maintaining his stable LPI, yet descending in rank, is D. Su Gillespie, the Bolton from a shuttle, now sits at number 4 LPI and number 10 milk. The very well-known Bolton Man-O-Man, an O-Man from an Alta Aaron,
move slightly back from number 8 position to the number 5. Lair Drew Dempsey, the gold one from Adairy, and Sully Meteor, the planet from the shuttle, jump up into the top 10 this round, moving themselves into the number 6 and number 7 positions respectively. Dempsey does so while adding over $500 to his production proof and over $400 to his type proof, for which he maintains his number one status as the number one conservation bull in Canada. Citadel Jet Air, the Alta Baxter from a Bellwood Marshall, also moves up in rank, now occupying the number eight spot for LPI. With over 5,000 milking recorded daughters in his proof now, main, mainstream manifold, the old man from a Bellwood Marshall, takes the number nine LPI position and is tied for number 10 on the protein list. UFM dubs Alta Esquire, the old man from an Alta Sam, completes the top 10 list this round and is number four in the breed for fat. This round sees 99 sires graduating with proven status in Canada and another 16 sires receiving their first Canadian proof. Planet and Million each sired 16 of the newly proven bulls and Planet is the most common sire in the top 100 LPI with 18 sons. Oman, Goldwyn, Bolton and Baxter each have 10 proven sons in the group as well. The top 50 LPI this round is infiltrated by 16 newly proven sires, the highest of which is Dream Prairie BG Bruno, the Bolton times the Goldwyn, at number 11 LPI. Identical brothers Larcrest Chavez and Larcrest Camelot, the planet times the Ramos, receive the same genetic and genomic evaluation and therefore are number 14 on the list. Following on their heels on the new release list is Comstar Lemus. Number 16 LPI, a planet times a Bolton, and then the uniquely pedigreed Valerie Dawn Sudan Sri, the number 17 LPI bull, who is a jammer from a sailor. Genevic Lavaman, number 21 LPI, man o man times Goldwyn, and then the French born bull duck, number 22, Mr. Burns from a no man. Barcrest Contrast comes in at number 23 LPI, he's an Alexander from a shuttle, and Prairie Loto is at number 25 LPI, who is a man o man from a Goldwyn. Completing the list is newly proven bulls in the top 25 for LPI. Other newly proven bulls to penetrate the top 50 LPI this round include Dasso Burn Dane, a man o man from a Goldwyn, is at number 27. Regan ALH A. De Niro, an Exalander from a Goldwyn, is at number 29. And Misty Springs Smoking, a lavender from an FBI is at number 38. D. Sue Phoenix 588, the planet from a Bolton, is at number 39 LPI. Tied at number 45 LPI is Gillette Tavares, a planet times a shuttle, and the fourth new release carrying the Larkest prefix from the Cosmotelon family, Larkest Casanova, a Golden times a shutter. Benner Jetter, a planet from a Goldman finishes out the new release in the top 50 LPI at number 50. Other noteworthy changes include the drop of Morning View Alta Toyota from number 4 LPI to number 19 and Blonde and Caprice from number 14 to number 61. Well, that wraps up our inaugural show. I hope you enjoyed it. We tried to keep it quick. We tried to keep it fresh. We tried to keep it different. If you have any feedback, drop us a line, send us an email, and we look forward to seeing you in the future.